So you went on to pro wrestling mods, browse some good old mods, try downloading the mods, but the site tells you that you don't own the freaking game. What the heck? Of course you own the game, you bought it and it's now on your Steam account. You tried everything you can, you almost went crazy, but it still won't detect the games. What in the world? Well worry not friend, I have been in that crappy situation and I really had no idea what to do to fix it. Until I did. With a little research and experimentations, I managed to have the working solution on how to make PWM detect your WWE 2K games. Before we begin, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more WWE 2K games, mods, and stuffs. And stick to the end of this video for a huge announcement regarding WWE 2K23 mods. Thanks. Okay, first off, you need to make your Steam profile public so PWM can detect the games on your library. If you have already done this in the past, still it wouldn't hurt to double check them right now. To do this, open up Steam and click your account name on the upper right. Click view my profile, edit profile, privacy settings, and on the my profile section, set it to public. Make sure everything down below is also set in public. Next, we need to clear your download cache, cache, or what, how do you even pronounce this thing? You need to download, you need to clear this thing so there wouldn't be anything but Bugging Steam and PWM's communications when you start syncing your accounts. Warning: Doing this might cancel any games you're currently downloading at the moment, so make sure when you do this you're not downloading anything important on your Steam app. So if everything's good in your end, go to Steam and click the Steam tab on the upper left corner. Then click Settings, go to the Downloads category and click Clear Download Cache. This will restart Steam for you and you may need to re-log in. So go ahead and do that. Now we're almost done. Go to PWM and sign out your account. You can do this by clicking account on the upper right and click sign out. Wait for about 5 to 10 seconds or you know you can just go to YouTube and watch uh, some of my videos yeah it wouldn't hurt. And go ahead and sign in to PWM again. When you're in click account and dashboard. At the very bottom of the page you should see something that says steam status and it should say steam ready. If you've skipped the earlier steps from this video then it might say like cache not cleared or something. That's why we cleared our steam cache earlier. The only thing left to do now is to click the button that says sync profile. Wait for a bit and then your WWE 2K games will now show up under the Steam games section. You can now download mods as many as you want. Thank you guys for watching. Again, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more contents like this. Thank you guys for watching my previous video too. It was about importing mp3 files as your entrance theme music in WWE 2K23. For the huge announcement, Cake Tools 23 will be released this Thursday, meaning all the arena, GFX, belts, all the mods will now be available on WWE 2K23. Now I'm very excited about this and of course I will make a lot of tutorials for this when the tools are released. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to uh, leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more WWE 2K games, mods, and whatever stuffs like this one. Thank you and see you in the next video. Peace!